Well, this event has changed over the years with the redesign of the Javelin. Well, there's no reason why this athlete isn't considering themselves one of the real medal contenders here. I think you can see from that celebration that the athlete's happy with that throw. Well, Great Britain still lead this event, but it's very, very tight at this stage. It really is a good competition. It's all going to come down to this, the delivery. Well, that looks like a big one. Oh, this could be a massive throw. That's over 90 metres. Well, here we go then on the runway. We'll look to launch this one. He'll be happy with that. Looking at the scoreboard and a third position placing after that round is good news for this athlete. Should be no nerves now in round number four. Foul. Happy with that, very happy with that. And as the scoreboard confirms, that will keep him very much in the mix. When Justice is back. Puts pressure on the leaders with that attempt. Well, in the top three after that last round, third place is a good position to be in. Next up, the competitor representing Great Britain. Here he goes then, final attempt, good pace on the runway. Foul. Well, in the top three after that last round, third place is a good position to be in. One last check on the medal positions then, and gold for South Africa. It's a silver medal for South Africa. Time now for a quick look at who's where in the medal table. Welcome back to the Olympic Stadium, a packed house for the final of the men's discus. This one of the oldest events in the Olympic Games. In fact, the very first Olympiad in 1896 featured discus throwing. Really is an iconic event, this. In fact, it's been used on the main posters for the Summer Olympics way back in 1920 and 1948. And at the very first Olympics in 1896, Discus throwers even featured on stamps to publicise the games. He'll be over the moon with that start. Next up, the competitor representing Needs good Great technique Britain. to spin round in that circle before exploding into life and releasing the discus into the London air. Well, I think he's quite happy with that performance. Let's take another look at the leaderboard after another good round for Great Britain, and they sit happily in first place. Next up, the competitor representing Third attempt Great now. Britain. Oh. 
Well, he likes that. It's been a good performance. Well, after that round, this athlete, much to the crowd's delight, is in the lead. One of the key things to the technique of throwing a discus is to impart as much spin on it as possible. The greater the spin, the greater the gyroscopic stability. Well over 60 metres with that last effort. Well, let's take a check on the scoreboard and there's good news, lying in first place. Next up, the competitor represents... Round number five. Could be massive. Well, here's the scoreboard at the end of that round, and it shows first place. Last chance saloon, sixth and final attempt. They'd be happy with that. Well, here's the scoreboard at the end of that round, and it shows first place. Fantastic result. Gold for Great Britain. A podium finish for Great Britain as this athlete takes home a silver medal. And taking home the bronze medal, third place, South Africa. Well, this stadium looks splendid. This is the finals of the long jump. And this crowd has been waiting for this event to start for quite some time. The athletes going through their final preparations. And this is the field of competitors. So much talent in there. And it really could be any one of eight. So it's crucial that the athletes get high up in the air to be able to reach long into the pit. Let's take a check of the results then after round one. Off he goes in round number two. Foul. Well, it looks like a foul to me. We await to see what the judge says. Great Britain in third place. Let's take a check on the rest of the positions. the board that this is a good jump a really good jump we've reached the midway point and Great Britain in a decent position here they're in third place fourth attempt that's good that's really good this is excellent but that's another good jump. Happy with that, very happy with that. And as the scoreboard confirms, that will keep him very much in the mix. This is the fifth round of the long jump. Away we go. Well, that attempt's going to count for nothing, I'm afraid to say. It's a foul. Great Britain in third place. Let's take a check on the rest of the positions. Great speed on the runway. Can he follow it up with good technique? <laughs> to make the most of a jump, you have to have height as well as distance. Well, there's no doubts in my mind that this athlete from Great Britain can do better. So far, in fourth place. And the Springboks are bouncing in the stands. It's a gold for South Africa. Despite great vocal support from the stands, Great Britain 
don't get gold, instead is a silver medal. Well, here we are at the Excel London for the Olympic final of the men's weightlifting. Good crowd on hand as well. This is a sport where power and technique come together. Is he strong enough? Every muscle. Oh, that technique is fantastic. Needs the three lights to go out. Well, he'll be in with contention with that last lift. Let's have a look at the current scoreboard then after the first round. Next. Round number two then. How does the approach change here? Needs to be powerful in this first phase. Weight above his head, but can he hang on to it? Oh yes, he's gonna do it, he does it! Well, it's a good position to be in second place for this athlete on the scoreboard. That looks very promising. Well, he really is in with a chance of a medal, but needs to stack some more weight on this bar. Looks confident here to me. Seems to be struggling here, and that really was too heavy for him. Didn't manage to even get it off the floor. Don't know whether there's an injury problem. Well, after that round, Great Britain continue to press on here. Here's the scoreboard. They're in second place. A gold medal and a nation proud after that final. South Africa finish on top of the podium. A good return for Great Britain, second place and a silver medal. Good afternoon, welcome to Lords in St. John's Wood in London. This usually is the home of cricket, with the magnificent old pavilion, the long room, and it's the home of the Ashes. But for the London 2012 Olympics, this is the home of archery. Seventy meters. It seems a long, long way away, and no doubt there'll be nerves. It's a golden arrow. Ten points. End one. Arrow two. The outer red. That's seven points. This is the third arrow. End number one. Fuds into the board. Resounding sound, that. Well, let's look at the leaderboard at the end of the first end. Next up, Hector representing Great Britain. End two, first arrow.
Well, that's smack on right down the middle. Second end, arrow number two. Good arrow, seven points. Final arrow of the end, needs a strong finish here. Right on target, ten points. Halfway through this event and Great Britain are in first place. End three, arrow number one. A good start required. Well, the inner red circle means another eight points for the British competitor. Well, arrow two locked right on the target. This is the final arrow in end number three. That's eight points for the inner red. Confirming this so tight at the top of that leaderboard. Next up, Pastor representing Great Britain. Arrow one, end four. That's in the centre. Ten more points to the total. Arrow number two, then. Ten points right down the middle. One arrow away from glory. This is the final end. Bang on. Ten. Well, let's have a look at the scoreboard. And Great Britain are at the top. But only just. It's very, very tight. Olympic archery gold for Great Britain here at Lords. And in second place with the silver medal, a performance to be proud of from South Africa.